Exactly. We'll leave uh, Martina Anderson there of Sinn Féin speaking in the chamber. Talking of Sinn Féin, we've asked for uh, a party member to come and talk about this issue now of the executive meeting and the resolution on the policing and justice issue, but so far they haven't uh, decided to send us anyone. The DUP, though, have, uh, and with me now is Nelson McCausland, who is on the vital committee charged with looking at this. You're very welcome, uh, Nelson Thank McCausland. You, uh, there's a new language here, uh, policing and justice devolution to happen without uh, undue delay. Uh, is that easy for you to say? I think the point I want to make first of all, Jim, is to respond to what was said earlier by Ray Jimby, who was uh, disingenuous at best and probably dishonest in what he said. He accused uh, my colleague Nigel Dodds of misleading people and said that he had quoted about there would not be devolution of policing and justice in a political lifetime. What was said by Nigel Dodds and what has been said by members of the DUP time and time again is Sinn Féin will not get their hands on policing and justice in a political lifetime. That is what we have delivered. Okay, it's well, a just, good just day for your you. Your use of language is about it, You're not in the chamber now, and you said uh, uh, two things there about Reg MPs. Uh, well, I think accusing somebody of being disingenuous. Well, it, it's, it's, it's proven it problematical before. Um, I'm surprised by that. He, right, uh, I've heard but let's times. deal with the, the, the contention, then, if you want to talk about political lifetimes. I mean, is it not true that Nigel Dodd's political lifetime could become as infamous as John Taylor's barge pole? No, the difference is we've got this thing down on paper. John Taylor couldn't even produce a letter out of his pocket uh, when he claimed he had a letter from the uh, government minister. The key thing is we promised certain things, we've delivered on them. We said, first of all, that as a party we wanted to see devolution of policing and justice. Because we're a devolutionist party, we believe that that is good for Northern Ireland. We promised that there would be no Sinn Féin justice minister. And that is clearly indicated here in what has been announced today. There will be no Sinn Féin Justice Minister. But we also promise without undue well, not, delay. Come can on, I, can I also know, say, get, get with the we also promise here. It's positive. Let, let's get. Let's just get all the things on record. I'm just responding, of course, you see, to what was said earlier, uh, and I, I hesitate now in view of what you said to use words like disingenuous and words like dishonest. I wouldn't attempt to use those again. Um, uh, we said there would be no Sinn Féin Justice Minister. We've delivered that. We said that there would be an independent judiciary. That has been delivered as well. Sinn Féin will not be appointing and nominating ministers or appointing members of the judiciary. That has been separated out. So we've got those two clear commitments. An independent judiciary free of Sinn Féin, a justice minister who will not be from Sinn Féin, and we've also got now uh, work to do in taking this forward. We'll get on with that work. The other important thing to remember, of course, is Sinn Féin demanded a timetable. They wanted a date. There is no date. A de facto date, though, because we have a process which begins. Well, can and you, you see have to sell the confidence can you issue see to your anything voters? Anything in either of the two documents today that gives a date? I certainly can't because it isn't there. And Sinn Fein are going to find it there. There is a process of work to be undertaken. That is going to take quite some time. What's your definition of quite some time? Is it the same as a political lifetime? Well, the political lifetime was, as I've already said, that Sinn Féin would not have their hands on policing and justice in a political lifetime. We've delivered that. Now, as regards the devolution of policing and justice, uh, people can speculate about that. Sinn Féin asked for it. I'm not going to do just what Sinn Féin demand. I'm not going to start throwing out dates here and there. There's a process of work to be done. There is work to be done in the Assembly. There's work to be done at Westminster because this will require legislation at Westminster. It will require legislation in the Assembly. It will require negotiation with the government as regards the funding for policing and justice. There are almost 30 bodies that are part of the architecture of policing and justice. There's a deficit in the budget for nearly all of those. Now, until we get that issue of finance sorted out, um, we'll not be moving forward. So that's why the pressure is really on Sean Woodward and others. OK, what and do you make of your, your former... Colleague Jim Allister has put out a statement. Obviously, you've got uh, a deal that involves no Sinn Féin justice minister, but he's still saying that Sinn Féin have their mitts all over justice. He points out that Martin McGuinness can appoint nine members of the policing board, has already today in terms well, of get, being uh, mindful uh, of yes, appointing the uh, uh, Attorney General, has yeah. effectively appointed the Attorney General. And he also says, gets to jointly handpick uh, the Judicial me, Appointments yes. Commission who pick the judges. I, I, I often do listen to... Jim Allister. Um, the fact is that no matter what one might do, it would never please Jim Allister because he thrives on creating disillusionment and disappointment and creating distress within the unionist community. That's his business. Um, this is a good day for unionism. The fact is that there are. Let's say that. Yes, then we can back to that. Absolutely. 
there are already Sinn Féin members on the policing board, and that was done under direct rule. The direct rule that Jim wants. His direct rule puts Sinn Féin members onto the policing board. Now, how does he explain that to his followers? He's trying to con people once again, because that's the business that he deals in. But you, you mentioned the appointment of judges. It was never suggested that Sinn Féin would appoint judges, but they will, through the office of oh, First, they, they, First they, Minister, appoint those who will appoint judges. The Judicial Appointments Commission has been appointed. That body will run right through for a number of years yet. I think it's about 2013 or thereabouts. So we've made it absolutely clear. Martin McGuinness won't be appointing judges. He won't be appointing a justice minister. Sinn Féin's hands are off this. Much as Jim Allister might try to spin things for his own political ends. But people aren't going to be conned by that. Now, although there's no date uh, for the devolution of justice in the paper that was issued today, now you sort of lit the blue touch paper. It is a matter of months, isn't it? Well, we want policing and justice to be devolved. But we want it on the right terms. Now, I've said there's a process of work to be gone through. Another element in that is that there has to be a process of public consultation. I think one of your earlier contributors commented on that. There has to be a process of consultation and there has to be a determination that there will be the community confidence that will lead to effective and acceptable devolution of policing and justice. So there's a piece of work to be done. Let's get on with that. We'll find out in due course the time scale. I don't think there's any value in uh, predicting or prophesying these things. I think that's unhelpful speculation. Let's stick to the work. We were at that work today. We'll be at it next week. We'll be at it the week after. We'll be at it in January and February and March. There's a long scale long-term piece of work to be done. How will you measure that community confidence now, that Nelson? Because previously the DUP said, well, it would be up to us to judge. But now you're talking about the process of consultation. Is that government consultation? How will we know? Because there's, there's, there's as many views as, as, as you can count with sure. the community. And, and there's work to be done on fleshing that out. The broad principles of the process are set out here in the, in the process document today. Um, that needs to be fleshed out, and that will be over the next number of months. But I think one can get a good sense from talking to people in the street the general mood, the sense of fear in the street, country. of course. Yeah. I did, and as a unionist, I will be making sure that people in the unionist community have the confidence. We're there as the DUP to look after the interests of the unionist community and see that they're advanced. Um, Nelson McCausland, I mean, this new responsibility that Peter Robinson talked about for you to sell this uh, to your community, what are you going to do about that? I think it's important to spell out to people what devolution of policing and justice in practice means. Uh, it's a very complicated architecture around policing and justice. I've mentioned there already, there are about, well, almost 30 organisations and commissions and bodies involved in that. We need to sell to people and show to people clearly that there are advantages in the devolution of policing and justice. If we look back, as we were reminded a short time ago there, to 1972, that was a key issue for unionism at that time, that we lost influence and control over policing and justice. If we look at areas of legislation, and there are a number of these, um, it would be to the benefit of Northern Ireland that we control over that legislation, but it requires the devolution of justice. So there are benefits in it. In our last manifesto, we said we wanted to see it. So it's a matter of spelling out to people and explaining to folk the advantages of it and to reassure them that we have got the guarantees in place that Sinn Féin will not be getting their hands on placing and, justice. And on the finance, you saw Sean Woodward there. He was saying just because the DUP, just because Sinn Féin asks for something doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get it. Uh, this looks like it's going to be a hard bargain to strike. I wouldn't expect Sean Woodward to go into negotiations about finance, giving everything away on day one. Uh, he's bound to start off with that position. There's work to be done in convincing him, and we'll put the effort into convincing him. That's because of many thanks indeed. Thank you.